Hello. My name is Jose. No, I'm Lee Hughes. Here, 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 here. And my current occupation is retired, do nothing but play at whatever the hell I want to play at. I have a love of wood uh, in all forms, and uh, I've been a woodworker for most of my life in various things. I've been a carpenter, a cabinet maker, uh, but. I didn't see too many people in their 50s that were carpenters that could walk upright, so I changed professions and got into radiology. And radiology uh, supported my wood habit. Some things take me much deeper than I really want to go. It's a combination of ADHD and OCD, and there is no reason why. <laughs> wood. Wood, wood, wood. Uh, a lot of stuff I do, I'm self-taught. Again, it's part of the uh, OCD aspects of my little itty bitty brain that drive me down these different pathways. And you know, you want to do the best that you can. So it, it just takes on a life of, it own, of its own and it branches out. <laughs> I mean, just. Just take your little camera and twirl it around and you'll see everything. It's right here. Um, I gather the wood. Uh, a lot of it is, uh, you know, I go out and cut firewood. We still rely on that. And when I'm splitting the wood, if I see something that really grabs me, I chuck it off to the side and bring it in here and make stuff out of it. There is no one thing that's more favorite. The only aspect I can say is I enjoy working with the wood. What boy doesn't? A lot of the times, I don't choose the wood or the shape. The wood tells me what it wants to be. I can start out doing one thing and within minutes it'll change. As far as choosing a wood, I think it depends on what I'm doing. Like I make boxes, they're really cool I think. But I try and make them out of flashy woods, something that'll grab the eye. So sometimes I'll use exotic hardwoods out of Africa or South America, but most of the time I'm just using plain old pine from around here, or if there's something special I'm doing, I'll go over to Home Depot and get a piece of pine. It just depends on what the project is. There's really no selection process other than, oh, look, a piece of wood. That's about it for me. Hmm, a challenge. Learning how to price my work. I try and keep my prices reasonable because I would rather somebody come into the gallery, like what they see, and are willing to spend, you know, forty to three hundred dollars on a piece that really talks to them and they can take home and enjoy forever. You know, maybe they want to pass it on to the kids or some other fool thing or a wedding present or whatever. But when my work speaks to people, I really, really enjoy that. And I don't want to, uh, I don't ever want to get snotty and think I'm all that and a bag of chips and price thing stuff too high. I, I'd rather sell it cheaper and have people walk out the door with it than have everybody go, ooh, ah, but I can't afford it and walk out the door empty handed. Figuring out what the price is is the hardest part for me. Because if I had my way, I'd just say, here, 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 here. You know, you like that? Take it. <laughs> that doesn't get you anything, though. I think anybody that works with their hands gets satisfaction out of whatever it is they're making. There's a huge amount of satisfaction, pride, sense of accomplishment. I took this from that and look at this. And I think uh, validation for me is that people actually come into the gallery and buy stuff. And that still amazes me. You know, you're willing to spend money on something I've done, something I've made, I'm like, yahoo. You know, perfection is a good goal to strive for, but nobody achieves perfection. But you can achieve a high degree of craftsmanship and a high degree of precision. I don't think anybody will ever get perfection. If life is a roller coaster, you damn well better be able to put your hands up above your head and go, wee and enjoy it. Because once you quit enjoying it, it's time to lay down and pull the dirt over. Well, that's a loaded one. <laughs> <laughs>